If your hoop is going clockwise, you too are going to be turning in the same direction. So you're going to be locking the hoop with your right elbow on your right hip just behind you. Keep the hoop locked against your hip and follow an invisible line on the floor until you return back to the front position, at which point you need to lift your elbow up to give the hoop some momentum so that it may continue moving. I am using a good two, possibly three inches of my forearm and bicep and using my elbow as a marker to lock the hoop. At no point am I putting my hands in this move whilst I turn. It will take some practice before you are able to turn without losing the hoop at some point, but just keep at it, you'll get there in the end. If you start this movement in your hand, you need to be leading with the little finger as you place the hoop on the elbow from behind. The hoop does no more than one rotation and try to catch the hoop on the hip behind you, leading with the little finger before you place on the other elbow. Here's a little clip of you from behind me. Hopefully this will help you see the side-to-side -side action that needs to occur for this successfully to work. Here's a quick close-up of how to change your grip from an outside to an inside grip using your thumb. We start the sequence by leading with the little finger to place the hoop behind the back on the elbow. Then we're going to turn the same direction that the hoop is going almost back to its original position. We're going to let go and catch the hoop. We're going to catch that hoop underneath and this means that we are able to lead with our thumb to place the hoop onto the next elbow and then we're going to repeat. We're going to lock it in place, turn the, nearly the full 360, release and catch the hoop underneath after you have released it off so that you can lead with your thumb. I have some more variations to add into another tutorial which lead with the little finger but they add extra beats. So if you want to do it without any extra beats, you have to do it this way. Well, I'm sure there are a million other ways, but this is the way that I'm teaching it in this tutorial. So although you catch the hoop underneath, the pass off occurs with the hand is on the side on top of the hoop. And that's why we're leading with the thumb. Here's a view from behind so that you can see what it looks like and how much you have to move from side to side again for this to successfully work. Good luck. It may be useful to note the earlier demonstration of the change of grip with the thumb is on the outside of the hoop and my little finger leads is on the inside. You'll need this in the next tutorial also. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to come back and watch the other parts of this tutorial. And remember, silly cherry dresses may look pretty, but they're pretty ridiculous for making tutorials. Lots of love. Bye.